since we were talking about how long it's been since we spoke. And I wanted mm-hmm. to ask you about your the gigantic reach you had from the um, was it the vice thing yeah, right yeah. with Asian Americans? Yeah. What uh, what doors have been opened? What people reaching out to you? I saw some Michael Knowles interaction. That was cool. I like Michael. Yeah, Knowles. we did an interview about it. Yeah, it was cool. Right. Yeah. What is other than that? Has there been people reaching out? What has Vince Dow nationalism done since then? Well, I mean, I think we just kind of have skyrocketed since then, right? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, the numbers have been good and all that. I mean, yeah, I, I knew going in too. I was like, you know, if you play this right, this really could be a big launching moment for you professionally. And then when I was in there, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, we got it. But uh, to be, tell you the truth, I wasn't expecting it to go as big as it did because initially it went big and people talked about it, it was whatever. But then you had like that second wave, like two months afterward, where it just absolutely blew up. So, you know, I'm blessed, obviously. And I mean, I, I wouldn't say any like I wouldn't say Donald Trump called me by any means. But I mean, I've definitely built more, I guess, infrastructure or, you know, traction in the movement since then, I suppose you could say. Definitely. Was were these people in this very photo? Was it like was it easy to predict what arguments you'd be facing going into that? I know they they film a, like a little sit down with each mm-hmm. person. These people, purple hair, uh, perpetually shocked guy. Was it easy sort of pred- to predict their arguments and what you're going to be up against? Yeah, I mean, so I I could already tell. You know, I, I didn't even really talk to any of them in the green room, but I saw the color of the hair and I heard the just the way <laughs> she was speaking. You know, the the juvenile way in which she was speaking. And, uh, you know, the effeminate mannerisms of the two on the left. And I, I yeah, I, I basically knew. I basically knew. I did one piece of research before the panel because I just knew it was about Asian issues. I just looked up the hate crime statistic kind of fact check. And, and that was about it because I, I basically knew where it was going to go. And, and it, it went exactly there. I don't recall, but did the, you know, the whole Harvard and, and uh, affirmative action stuff come up? Mm-hmm. Uh, it briefly did, but at the time, I guess the discourse was more so about the, you know, the, the getting pushed in the subway stuff. So mm. it briefly, we talked about it a little bit, but it wasn't really central at the time, which was interesting. Yeah. What's also interesting to me is the grouping in of the uh, Pacific Islanders with all of yeah. this. I mean, I'm, I'm not well, sure. Well, I mean, just look at the pa- <laughs> half the panel is not even Asian. You know, it's like you get Samoan guys and stuff. Yeah, like my that. favorite comment on the the post was, uh, "Where are the Asian Americans?" Because <laughs> it's <laughs> so. And how much does professional wrestling matter to you guys? <laughs> Samoans, everybody, they wrestle a lot. 